Hello everyone. Kind of, well, I'm not out specifically looking for a witch hut, but I'm looking for one while I'm out here, if that makes sense. And I also found this, which is quite nice. I've made an ender pouch from the ender chest back at base so I can gather stuff and then just put it straight in the pouch. Just grab some hardened clay. Okay, that's pretty weird. Whoa! I mean, this is basically the pre-1.7 answer to the Mesa biome. Not a structure, which doesn't have the same layers, but... Oh, there's normal clay there. I'm going to have to put these clay blocks back, which might seem stupid, but otherwise my OCD will drive me mad because I'm taking it down to a specific layer, so it must all be down to that specific layer. Okay, that's enough. Why have I got ender pearls? Oh, I never mind. Okay. So yes, I'm coming out here to find an extreme hills to put a quarry down in. I know there are other biomes in Biomes of Plenty that have emeralds, but I don't know off the top of my head what ones they are, and I thought I'd just go for the familiar old extreme hills. Now there are actually very few extreme hills around, really. It's uh, quite surprising. Let me just check where this one is. So now I come to look at my pioneer map, it turns out that what I thought was extreme hills might well be volcano, because I did it by uh, colour selection. So as far as I can tell, there are actually no extreme hills whatsoever in my world, which is quite unlikely, but I can't find any of the bloody things. So, uh I guess I'll head back. That's bothering me. So if I look in here I should have a bunch of clay blocks of hardened clay. Yep. Excellent. It's just... Hmm. Doesn't really matter. And that's fine. I've made this little bit of change over here. I've finished off the uh, deep storage unit conduit configuration because I realised I could just put them, the plants on consumed stack and nose, they'd hold on to a seed. So I did that, that's all finished. I've also put some lamps in because I think not having light here was affecting it. I'm not certain, but it doesn't hurt to have them. So that's all done. So that is essentially 100% complete now, apart from the lily pads, I'm not even certain I need many of those. Because it's pretty effective as it is, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've altered my pulverizers here, and that's plural because I've got three of them now. So anything I put in there, this exports ores. It's supposed to work with crafting, but it doesn't seem to work for some reason. And um, it just sticks them in there and then they circle back around if they've come from anywhere to go and that just goes around there, up over into the 
uh, interface. I could actually put into one of those interfaces, save on pipes, but there's my under chest. Um, I've moved that to under there for now. And I've got my Magnum Cruise Blue Field Transposer there. So yeah, now I think apparently, mm, let's see. I think there's a biome near me here that apparently has emerald. I mean, it's not a big deal if I don't have emerald, I just like to have emerald. So let's see, what biomes do we have? Temperate Rainforest is that one that's supposed to have it. Apparently, yes. So I could set my quarry up here. Get me a bunch of wood. What sort of wood is it? Oak. Is it oak? Because that'd be useful. It's oak. Right. In which case. I'm going to set a quarry over here because I can. Now, how big could a quarry go? 64. Which is four chunks. So let's just find some chunk boundaries. One, two, that lava will be a problem. Three, that'll go out to water. It doesn't matter if I call out some rainbow forest. So let's just go here. I think this will do. Then four chunks this way. Three, four, we over here. Yeah, that'll do. Is that not going to join up? Oh, yeah. I need to go there. Okay, so there's the landmarks defined in the quarry area. The next question is whether the quarry will output directly into a test fact. And also a quarry's build craft so it might not accept power directly from a test fact given that it's redstone flux. So I'll just go and get some conduits and item docks just to make sure. What's that glowing green down there? Oh, it's a sheep. And obviously eventually I will go for Quarry Plus, but this will do for now. Honestly, I mostly want it for the um, cobblestone, just so I get a fair amount. I could set up the uh, Igneous Extruders again, but this is more fun. So... And to want Tesseract here, item duct, conduit, central channel, configure it, item mode send, fluid mode nothing, energy mode receive, and then we should get Go and retrieve more of the landmarks. Which could be miles away. There's one. 
This will destroy cave crystals, but that, uh, that's fine, I don't really need them silk touched all that much. No, that's those. Seems to be done building the frame. Oh no, there we go, now it's done. And the quarrying begins. We'll start with this tree. Oh, now I've forgotten something. There's always something. Am I going to need a torch? I am going to need a torch, aren't I? Um, okay. This is annoying. It's just going to fire items everywhere while I get lost. This way. No, this way. I can navigate. So chest, torch, bam, stuff, things, no, stop being sleep creator. Look at you, fancy guy. Let's just try this first of all. And if it still chucks up in the chest. What's the items going through there? Well, there's an easy way to find out, I guess. I just momentarily detach that from there. See if stuff goes into this chest. Especially if I take this one away. No. Okay, so I do need the chest then. So then I'm going to need to take this. Move this around here. Like that. That. There we go. And then. Oh, that. And we're back in business. So, what am I going to work on this episode? Because that's not the main thing. Well, I was thinking it's about time. Look how many diamonds I have. Mm -hmm. Magnificent. Um, it's about time. It's my line. Fine. I went to uh, have a look at the Twilight Forest, I think. I'm going to put the portal right here, just because. Or perhaps over here a little. 
It's almost slightly out of the way. I wonder if these yellow flowers count. Where did I put them there? So I wonder if dye flowers count for this. We'll soon find out. Cool box of water. I don't know if the coin is stuck so I can actually throw this diamond and then there we go. So nice being able to just dump stuff in the system like that. Let's see what we've got. We're going to arrive somewhere horrible. How much will it No, that seems very nice. Important here. So I don't lose it. Well, that looks like a barrow right away, which is cool. Stick a quarry on that would be useful as well. Do you have any idea how many ores there are inside those things? I can show you. I'm wary about the manner in which I enter. I certainly don't want to lose the hole back up because that's a little pain in the ass. There's some ore already. Should be getting close then. There we go. Spawn right there. Check this place out. Look at this. Look how much stuff there is. These things are amazing. So we've got swarm spiders, okay, crystal there. Yeah, those things are going to come after me, so I'll explore that at a later date, perhaps. So yeah, this is a twilight forest, for those who don't know. Ooh. Hello. Big tree. And uh, pretty cool dimension, pretty cool. Let's see, are there huge trees, is a redwood? There's some description, oh there's a twilight forest type tree. Twilight oak wood, huge. Scarda. No, it's a firefly, there's a scarda here somewhere I can hear it. Now, what I need is a forest raven, and here's another barrel, a smaller one. Different size ones have different enemies in them. Um, let's see, Twilight Forest map. Is magic map focus and paper magic map focus is torch breeze and glowstone and dust and a raven's feather. I think I might have picked up a raven's feather in the overworld actually. 
Let's head over and uh, get myself a little more prepared. Here, forest ravens. They aren't terribly rare. There we go. Come back here. I'm going to crit you. Huh. Feather? No feather. Next. I mean, this is looting thread, it's going to not get a feather. It's pretty rubbish. Hello. We have a glacier. Look at all the penguins. Look at them. Look at them, aren't they adorable? <laughs> so this is a glacier. Just a massive, massive wood of ice. And if I'm lucky there should be. I can see it on the map. These things are cool. Huge, huge empty tower structures made of aurora blocks. Pretty cool. Totally empty. Completely and utterly. Honestly they are. I've completely explored one in the past, there's absolutely nothing in it. It was nice to get these blocks. Because much like Rainbow Loose and... Uh... Okay, out the way. Much like Rainbow Leaves and... Bear with me. Losing my train of thought while I'm doing this. Nope. Uh, didn't want to do that. I have to find some more glowstone. That's fine. Unlike Rainbow Leaves and Opal, it clearly uses a different algorithm because, uh, well, you get colour discontinuities for one thing, and for another, it's white in its human inventory. Still, quite a nice looking block used sparingly. I don't think I've ever found it this hard to find forest ravens. Oh, well, well, what do we have here? We have a hydra layer. I do believe. I'll leave you alone for now. Smoking blocks and fire jets. Fun things. There's another one there. Mosquito swarm. Ooh. I don't think I've seen one of those before. I have looked for them in the past. So let's grab that. You are mine. Oh, there's one. I just say these look way better than the ones being added to vanilla. There we go. They could probably be great for uh, trolling other players if you're on a server. Just hide them somewhere under the floor.
There we go, feathers. Now I need some glowstone. Should be easy enough. There's a good chance of living below so here. Oh look, there's some more right next to me. I mean, look at the density of the rooms. It's absolutely insane. And there are chests in these as well. Oh, oh, witches, witches. Must get a witch. I don't have to find a bloody witch hut. Let's just mark that so I can find it again. Put some crap away. Look at these things, slime beetles, or witches. Ow. The really fun thing is you see all these diamonds and stuff aren't really any smaller than the veins, the size of the veins you get. It's um, absolutely insane. Let's just grab some glowstone dust. And then get a crafting station out. So, Raven's Feather. Torch breeze, glowstone, magic map focus, blank magic map. I will activate that in a minute. Let's just see if I can find some diamonds in here to show you. I mean, they're, not, they're still not exactly what I would call common, but they are pretty damn numerous when you do find them. Might have a better chance of finding them in a larger burrow. Perhaps. There's a chest. I want to go and get it. There's another one. Oh, I've got Reach. Let's go for it. Nothing's going to manage to kill me. This is glorious, this level of region. Give me the things. Ooh, more things. Okay, actually this is a bit hazardous. Let's just clean up a bit. While the uh, poison battles it out with my region. Come on, Regen. Look at me on my pin cushion. Nagus goes. Now let's go pick up the rest of this stuff. Can't get me. Actually, probably can if they keep trying. So look over here. 
any more goodies over here, almost certainly. There's a chest. Ow. <laughs> you guys all got creeped. Yeah, more stuff filling my inventory. Quite possibly I need to go back over there. Yeah. That's a sneaky one. Kill these guys fast enough that I can override the fact that they're getting region off me. Oh no, no, this is problematic. This is problematic. Which, 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 which? Look at me, I'm even more of a pin cushion. Poisoned. Oh Jesus Christ, this isn't good. Three, two, one. I'm gonna have to stay up here. Here we go. Whoo, that was a bit risky. Oh, where is that silly witch? There you are. Come closer. Gotcha. Right, that should do. Grab this stuff and go. So that was interesting. Charm of life. Right then, let's head back to the entrance, because that's where I want to send to my map. Okay. Oh, it's gone in the corner. How fun. Oh well. So what this does conveniently is it marks out where everything is, and you'll notice all the things are in grid patterns. So I've got another Hydra over there, so that's two. This is the Glacier. That, I think, is the marker for a hedge maze. Let's go and have a look. This isn't marked on the map, but as you can see, it does fall in line with the grid. Maze. There's a lich tower over there. That is a gas tower, I think. Or no, that's a labyrinth, that's a mentor here, I think. Okay, so I'm not sure what this thing is, but it's under here. Whatever it is. Oh, there we go, it's a hedge maze. So that's pretty cool. Those are full of chests. Not full of, but they have chests in them. Oh, I'm not seeing any in that one. Maybe they're not rendering. There we go. Slime.
So yeah. I think I might have gotten just a bit of ice there. I can just check my quarry and there's a bit of a problem going on. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, I know why. Of course. Let's see. It's... Yep, because I did it exactly in chunks. The chest is not loaded and so it's just filled up with stuff. Oops. Let's, uh... Try and clean stuff up a little bit. So I'm going to need to grab a spot loader. Actually, I'm probably going to need more than one because uh, the stuff's in separate chunks. I'm smart. In fact, the problem here is that it's actually not emptying out fast enough because that actually is fine. I suppose the quest to keep its own chunks loaded, it probably keeps chunks around it loaded. I don't know. I'll go and grab some more pipes, I guess. Just so it can pull stuff out faster. Ooh, this is a mess. And speaking of a mess, I've made a load of alterations here and I've decided that this here shall be called the. Uh, Emmy spaghetti system, mess for short, because puns. So, hunting ducks, cobblestone, and redstone torches. Oh, it's filled up already, Jesus. Okay, okay. Calm down now, calm down, calm. Coming out at three times the rate, it has to be a month. Seems to be. Lesson to learn here always make sure you can cope with the influx rate of items. Always overestimate how fast you need to get them out of the system so that we don't overflow. Quarry is almost finished. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. It's been a bit of a longer one than usual. I had over an hour of footage, so I had to cut quite a lot. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Share favourites and comment helps support the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.